top tents. I've had my eye on these for a long time, but the prices have always been pretty extreme, especially for the hard shell or the clam shell ones. And the prices for these used to be three, four, five thousand dollars. Actually, many of them still are. And that was just more than I was willing to pay for one of these. And slowly over the last year or so, the prices have been coming down into the lower threes, upper twos, lower twos, and mid to upper teens, which started to get interesting and still a little bit more than I wanted to pay. The day after Thanksgiving on Black Friday, I was poking around on Amazon and saw one of these clamshell, hard shell rooftop tents for $9.99, and that included free shipping. So that was my that was my mark, that was my line. So I went ahead and purchased it and it took about five or six days to get from China to Maryland and dropped off by DHL. So we're gonna open this up and take a look. We've got this box leaned over. I don't know what it weighs. I've seen similar tents online anywhere, indicated anywhere from 140 to 180 or 190 pounds. So I really don't know. It feels 150, 160, somewhere in there. At least half of that as we're leaning it down on the floor. This does have some plywood crate stuff screwed to the bottom here actually strapped to the bottom so we're gonna get that off cut these straps off and take a look inside needless to say when the time comes to put this on the truck I'm going to have a few friends help me out because it's a little more than one person can do although I have sketched out a rolling cart scenario to kind of move it around outside I wish I had a full garage space here to open this up but the space that I used to build things in that great big airplane hangar I no longer have access to so we've got a much smaller building here but let me get the camera set up here and we'll cut this open and see what's inside I'm really curious curious to see so we'll watch it we'll figure it out together Well, despite the markings on the box that showed arrows into this side as far as the top, <laughs> obviously that's not the top, um, or at least I don't think that is. Yeah, because this one did not come with rails. So this is, this is the bottom. So I'm going to move the cardboard and some of the straps outside, and we'll see if we can flip this around 
inside the box and see what that looks like at that point. So, but at least while we're at this point, we can take a close look at the bottom. So our kind of modified T-track, so to speak, is what we use to mount it to the truck. And it's interesting, I guess I expected these to go farther out. The pictures I've seen online does show some of these supported about a foot or two inside of the end. And that was good to see because that's part of my plan. This is the front because we've got our hinges here. And all right, let's move some of this cardboard out and see what we got. And we've got all of the cardboard in the back of the truck. I'll drop that off at the dump tomorrow. I can't fault the shippers for packaging. That was wrapped up really, really well. Would have been nice if it was labeled appropriately as far as the top of the box goes, but such is life. So this is our hinged area. So this is the front of the clamshell. And we already have our handle on the back here. And just looking at this at this point, we've got a nice thick rubber seal here. And we've got our tracks here so we can hang some accessories and things, which is kind of cool. I assume the ladder is inside. It's supposed to come with that. But at this price point, you just don't know exactly what's going to be in there. So let's lay this back down very carefully. This would be a lot easier with two people, but today I'm kind of flying solo here. All right, so cardboard's outside. We've got the camper cap, the rooftop tent laid down. I have not looked inside. Let's pull this plastic off and see if we can open it up. There are no instructions <laughs> in the box on the outside. Maybe there'll be some on the inside, we'll see. Let's take this off and look around inside. That is really adorable. That is really cute. I haven't looked inside just yet other than just peeking through real quickly into the open side. Popped right up. Initial impressions on the stitching look pretty good. That is really adorable. It smells like Harbor Freight Tools, which is probably pretty appropriate. But overall, as far as the exterior goes, we're looking pretty good. So let's see what we got going on inside here. The other side was opened up. And let me turn the light on here. All right, we've got our light on here. There's our ladder. 
And that's actually a pretty plushy cushion. Okay, good. It is aluminum on the bottom. I was starting to wonder a little bit if that was just plastic. But we do have an aluminum base there. And I don't see a condensation mat. I'll probably pick one of those up. But this is very soft in here. And nice. We've got the same kind of real soft stuff on the ceiling. Placed for pockets and things. Here's our our ladder and I guess these are probably the mounts for mounts for the ladder I guess and I'm guessing in there will be the little hooks for the front porch awning very cool and this material this is not super lightweight stuff that's got some heft to it Let's unzip all the sides here and get this really, really breathing and we'll get some more pictures on the inside. That's really cool. I am impressed. I was not expecting a whole lot <laughs> in here. Um, for, as mentioned, this material, this ripstop, is thicker than I thought it was going to be. We've of course got a screen or a solid piece for this front, this main opening. We've got pockets sewn into the sides as well as the forward area <clears throat> we've got real thick rubber seals for the clamshell seal here we've got a track for accessories here this is plastic as far as the track goes right here for aluminum for the top and the bottom. For this, some of the more expensive ones, they, they use aluminum extrusions. But this feels pretty thick. Let me get a tape measure out. We'll get some actual hard dimensions here. Another couple interesting things that I didn't know that we had. These are actual locks. And the key is right there. And again, I have not laid on this mattress yet. I'm going to let this all air out because it kind of smells like Harbor Freight tools. But this is really plush. This is very soft. Let's get that ladder out as well. As far as measurements go in our width, we're at about 52 inches. And for the length, for the long run, right at about seven feet. Takes us right to about 84 inches there. And as far as the height goes, Looking at about 58 inches or so at the very top, between 58 and 59 inches for the top. As far as our gas struts, these look like they're riveted to the aluminum frame. And those are well inside of where the rubber seal would be. Looking at, a little more closely at the base and the frame, this is actually aluminum. So we do have metal here as far as the top track. This is plastic along the top, but the bottom is aluminum. So as far as hanging some shovels or heavier tools or lights or different accessories, that's a real solid metal base right there. And of course the aluminum does go around to, I guess, the back or the entry. And we do have these mounts on here for the ladder. In that bag are some more mounts if it wanted to be on a different side 
or at least having the option of being on a different side. And again, it's really cool that these are locking with the key right there. I wasn't expecting that. Looking at these seams a little more closely, the back side of all these are sealed. I don't know if that's heat sealed or glue sealed or if that's just a really thick tape. I'm not sure, but all of these seams are protected, which is cool. And because the base is aluminum, if water ever did get in, we shouldn't rust. A little bit dusty here in my shop. <laughs> All in all, very cool. Exceeded my expectations. I'm gonna let this just air out for a while. As far as the material that's on here, this is kind of like a velvety kind of kind of thing there. Cut down on condensation. And the ladder looks pretty typical pretty standard and then that bag right there is just the hardware so you can choose which side you want to hang it on or instead of the size just hang it on the front as well lots of options little tie offs it is really cool to see so many pockets for stuff and our three layers here either fully closed or the screen, actually two layers. So we've got the screen, open, or the solid cover. Neat. I am really looking forward to using this. We might even try something in the winter rather than waiting for spring, but we'll see how it goes. Need to work out the mounting stuff on the back of my 150 also. Very cool. All right, thanks for taking a look. Stay tuned.